I'm Ron Renwick. I'm Product Marketing Director at Acronix, responsible for networking and our Ethernet shell. This is the Acronix Ethernet shell, which is a full Ethernet data path built on top of the Speedster 7T FPGA. From data receive to data transmit. This is a modular data path, so components exist such as packet flow, header parser, direct memory access, and over 50% of the chip is available for customer logic. This data path, being modular, allows you to choose which components are important for your application and which components are unnecessary. You can use this as a reference design or you can incorporate it directly into your solution. So this is the Speedster 7T 1500 FPGA from Atronix. It offers up to four by 400 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. PCI Express up to Gen 5 by 16, which includes, of course, Gen 4 by 16. Eight GDDR6 controllers and two channels of DDR4. The secret sauce behind this is a 2D network on chip which is a bi-directional network on top of the FPGA fabric, which allows data to be transported at high speeds directly to each individual algorithm. So let's get into this Ethernet shell. Data is received through the Ethernet 30s, which are hard IP on the Speedster 70 FPGA. That data streams from the 30s over the 2D knot directly to the FPGA fabric. The 2D network on chip provides network access points to the individual logical units. The network access points allow programmers to place data directly at the site of the algorithm without having to provide network functionality across the chip in RTL. The packet engine then receives those packets and it does a few things. It passes packets to a first in, first out buffer which also allows for back pressure on the network. The FIFO buffer forwards packets into the header parser or directly into the GDR6 memory as a buffer mechanism. Once the packets have gone through the FIFO buffer, they come into the header parser. And the header parser takes the packets header information and can parse for various protocols, be that VLAN, GRE, or MPLS. From the header parser, you have the option of sending the packets into a rules engine. For most networks, a rules engine will apply layer two, layer three, or layer four rules to drop or forward packets as needed. Again, this is a modular implementation, so the FIFO buffer, the rules engine, those are all installed by choice, or those can be omitted depending on your application. Continuing in our data path, we move packets into a flow processor. Flow processor, just as it indicates, assigns flow IDs to packets, source, destination, etc. It makes forward, drop, and U-turn decisions on a per-flow basis and can also do flow-based load balancing for IPv4 or v6 defrag and metadata reporting. Once the flow processor is complete, it passes packets to the customer logic. The customer logic is exactly what it sounds. This is where customers apply their logic. It could be an IPS IDS device, it could be AIML code. The packets have been received, the packets have been buffered, and the packets have been assigned flow IDs and potentially flow rules. At this point, the customer has approximately 50% of the chip available to run their logic. Once the customer logic is complete, the question becomes, what do I do with the packets? The packets can be transferred to a DMA engine, which is direct memory access, and that engine pushes the packets directly to host memory through the PCIe bus. Let's talk about the floor plan. So this is a 1 by 100 gigabit Ethernet implementation. And this is the receive side and the DMA side. And as you notice, they take up very little space on the FPGA. Because this is modular, this allows a tremendous amount of space available on the FPGA for customer logic. The other benefit of this is that all of this is modular. So you see the components, from the packet processor, to the FIFO buffer, to the parser, to the flow rules engine, all of those exist but can be removed or added based on customer requirements. When you look at the space that's taken by the packet engine, the FIFO buffer, 
and the DMA engine, you can see that significant resources are still available for the customer to accelerate their applications using a Speedster 7T FPGA. So here at Acronix, we're really proud to have released the Speedster 7T 1500 FPGA. In a world full of accelerators, we'd like to accelerate your data with FPGA and eFPGA solutions. Please visit Acronix.com to learn more information both about the Speedster 7T and our SpeedCore eFPGA IP, which can be used in your chip design to provide FPGA acceleration functionality. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.